Hello, I'm Jay Sankar. Today, I'm going to do a review on the Open MRS DHIS2 connector module. For the sake of demo, let's assume that we have an Open MRS instance in a hospital and we need to visualize COVID-19 patient data in DHIS2. Okay, now I have set up a new data set using DHIS2 to gather COVID-19 patient data. Here I have patient counts based on gender and age. I have three age groups here. There are some silly age, pardon me, just for the demo purpose. Also, I have created a new open MRS period indicator report to get the data that I need. So, the data set is to gather monthly data. If I need to visualize this data, I have to run the report at the end of each month and copy those values one by one and paste them into DHIS2. Pretty hard, huh? Here's the problem. If you have many complicated reports and numerous datasets, then the things get much worse. Here's the DHIS2 connector module that comes to the picture. This module was initially developed by GMB, then it has migrated to the OpenMRS report. Hats off to GMB for developing this extremely useful module. Using this module, you can easily push data from OpenMRS to DHIS2. Without talking much, let's move to the module. You can install this module from the module window of OpenMRS or just follow the setup instructions on the readme file. I'm going to connect the module with DHIS2 by adding the host, DHIS2 username and password. Before sending the data, we have to create a mapping. Mapping stores the relation between OpenMRS report and the DHIS2 datasets. We have to select the OpenMRS re report from the left side and the DHIS2 dataset from the right side. This page will give you a nice drag and drop UI to do the mappings with the indicators of the report and the data elements and the category option of DHIS2. Now I have created the mapping, let's try to push some data. In the DHIS2 dashboard, I have generated some nice little charts for my dataset. As you all can see, here I don't have data for the month of September, also I can see it on the data entry view too. Now let's go back to the modules front report page. Select our report and the mapping, select the relevant open MRS location and the DHIS2 object unit, select the month, in this case September. Also note this deep figure change according to the period type of the data set. We are ready to go. Let's click on the send button and wait for the response. Amazing! Seems we have done it correctly. Let's go to DHIS2 and verify it. Now let's check back the month of September. Here we go. We have successfully pushed the data to DHIS2. Let's see what happened to our charts. Before that, we need to do one thing. It's updating the analytics table. Okay, let's see how it looks. Now we can see data for the month of September here. Apart from that, the module has some nice set of features. You can manage these mapping, duplicate them or delete them. Also, you can export and re-import the mapping, share them between instance, back up the DHIS2 API, so on. Another nice feature that comes with the module is the schedule option. All you have to do is schedule in the reports. The module will do the jobs for you. Thanks for watching, hope you got an idea about the module and the nice thing is you can also contribute to make this module far better. That's the magic of open source. If you haven't joined yet, please join the community talk.openmrs.org. Let's continue the discussion there. Goodbye, write code, save lives.